Welcome, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Today I want to show you how we cook our panini grilled carrot rubens. So anyhow, I don't know if you've seen some of our other other videos, but you know we cooked the, the carrot dog, you know, using uh, carrots instead, of course, your beef hot dog. Uh, and uh, you know, there. If you haven't tried one, uh, first of all, I would encourage you to check out that video and try them because they're actually delicious. And so, uh, so you might be thinking, all right, how about a, a you know carrot Reuben uh, sandwich? Because typically they put corned beef on there and sauerkraut, I guess, and some other sauces, but uh, so somehow my wife and I, you know, I like to think outside the box first of all, but somehow my wife and I were, you know, uh, we, were, we were getting some sauerkraut. In fact, we go to Q-Mart near us, if, if you live locally, they make their own sauerkraut there, and it's just delicious. It's not really very salty, and, and typically they're $3 a, $3 a quart, and so I asked her how much it would cost to buy 10 of them, so she said $2, and so... So I got these for $2 a quart, and, and then for some, somehow we ended up thinking the idea of making a carrot rube. And so I like the idea too because you can use Ezekiel bread uh, because th there's no oils in that. It seems like, unfortunately, most of your whole wheat rolls you buy do have a little bit of oil in them. So, so again, I'm, and I'm always trying to fine tune my, my health. And so uh, with going with a carrot rube, and, uh, you know, you can use a whole wheat bread with no oil or the Ezekiel bread that we use here. And so anyhow, this is really pretty easy. What, what I'm going to do is uh, cook these in my uh, Instapot pressure cooker. And this is at least a pound, I think almost two pounds of carrots. I trimmed about the size of a hot dog, maybe a little bit longer, or, you know, a little bit longer than even a piece of bread. And so I'm just going to dump these in here and then uh, just dump the sauerkraut on top. So it, all those flavoring and juices are all going to marry together. And uh, what I'm going to do is cook this uh, five minutes of pressure and then uh, five minutes on natural release. And so uh, I'm going to turn this on or close the lid, make sure the valve up top is closed. And uh, go on manual and then scroll down for for five minutes and then once these are cooked uh, we're gonna I'm gonna plug in the panini grill and get that screaming hot so that we can uh, make these sandwiches so I'll see you back here in a little while so anyhow the uh, carrots were in the pressure cooker for five minutes of pressure and about five minutes on natural release, then I opened the valve to get rid of all the extra steam so that they didn't continue to cook. And so what I did is I, I took them out of the pressure cooker and put them in the bowl and have a few, few here on my plate here. These are already done. And uh, I just started slicing them down the middle here. Because you're going to want to kind of just tell you, you know, back when we used to eat food from the animal kingdom, you know, if we were to make a bologna sandwich, you'd layer on the bologna and the cheese and all, you know, but of course we, we've we not eaten any of that dead animal flesh anymore, so now we're making a Reuben sandwich, we're going to layer on, put layers of carrots on there, and I know you're thinking, how's, how could this possibly taste good, but uh, we think it tastes pretty good, so. Uh, so anyhow, what I did too is I, this is a, uh, Trader Joe's All Natural Barbecue Sauce, smoke, smoky sweet with just the right amount of kick. And so right now I had the bottle upside down and tried to get all the barbecue sauce out of there. But what I did is I took some nutrition yeast and added that to the barbecue sauce and stirred it all up together. And what I'm going to do is just lather each piece of bread with this.
And so what I'm, what I'm going to have to do is uh, go cut up some onions and then we're going to have to, uh, I'll see you back here in a minute. So anyhow, the, uh, the, the onions are all nice and diced. I had a yellow onion. And what I'm going to do is just put some on the top of the barbecue sauce there. I'm going to put some on both pieces of bread. So that way there's some on the top and some on the bottom. And then get my trusty fork and kind of just push it in there. But you can see I lathered up the barbecue sauce nice. I actually I actually did uh, get a little bit more of that barbecue sauce and added some more of that nutrition yeast in there. That'll give it that nice cheesy flavor. Add a little bit more onion over on this one. Alright, so, so simply, uh, you know, I had sliced the carrots down the middle. And you know, by the way, the this will all be leftover carrots and sauerkraut, and I'm amazed how good it tastes. It's almost like you're eating pork and sauerkraut, but the carrots and the, and the sauerkraut I just eat as a side dish, you know, or as a dinner. I mean, it's just delicious. So anyhow, simply what you're going to do is start taking your carrots. Now you can, you can stagger them, go uh, fat end to the thin end, and then just stagger your ends so that they don't so that they uh, fit on tighter on your sandwich. And then the same thing here, you're going to stagger your ends. I mean, you could even keep on adding the layers if you want to, but that's going to be... Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these to the side because I still have to add sauerkraut. So. So what I'm going to do is just grab some sauerkraut off the plate here and layer it on top of the hot dogs. Doesn't that not look good, Howie? It looks really good. <laughs> I like how the barbecue sauce makes like a glue, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a good idea. It, it kind of holds the onion down, that's the whole mm -hmm. idea. So when, you, so when you flip it over like this, it kind of acts as a glue. Well, and so let's put this half on here. And so this, I got the panini grill nice and hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm let's cut off a little bit of that carrot off the end. I'm going to use my spatula too to go under it and then lay it on the grill. That's easier, right? You know, so most of the time we use it just to take it off the panini grill, but you know, slide it under your sandwich like this so it holds it, and then just gently lay it on the grill like that. And uh, let me get a towel here. So right now they're they're on the grill there sitting, and uh, I'm going to close this lid here, and then I'm going to lift the back end of this grill up so it parallels, and then just put a little bit of down pressure on that, and then I'm just simply going to put keep them on for five minutes, and then we'll see you back here. Okay, so the uh, timer just went off on my microwave. Uh, you know, the bread we're using here too, again, is the Ezekiel 4.9 sprouted grain bread. And you know, you certainly could use any other whole wheat bread. We just, you know, we, I know there's no oil in this bread. And, you know, I would encourage you if you're out looking for some kind of whole wheat, whole grain bread to make sure there's no oil in it. And so, uh, so anyhow, let's lift the lid here and uh, use the spatula and carefully lift these off the grill. In fact, what I'm going to do is let's lay it on the cutting board. And I think it's easier to cut it on the cutting board first. You know, we always try to emphasize smart living. That's why the name of our of, of us is called Plant Smart Living. And so, you know, we try to question everything, do research on well, just about anything you want to interested in doing you know take the time up front and search it out especially with nutrition in the medical industry there's so many so much false information and lies out there so you know you really want to check the science behind everything make sure it's true and trustworthy so so anyhow uh, that bread was nice and crisp on the top 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one half at a time here. And uh, let's lay it up there like that. And uh, these are going to be really good. And, you know, if you have any, uh, leave any comments or questions or, you know, if you have any additions or ideas on what else we could maybe add to this. You know, we're always open to some ideas, you know. And so, because this is kind of a, a new thing with the panini grilled carrot roofing. But uh, so far these have really tasted delicious. And so, so anyhow, that's pretty much what it's going to look like when you're finished. And uh, like I said, I also then have some carrots and sauerkraut that I can just use as a side dish or also for some more panini sandwiches or, or carrot dogs. And so, so anyhow, I hope this video has been helpful and I would encourage you to give this a try because it's really